despite many difficult circumstances and many I thank you, I thank all the leaders from around the world who have gathered in support for the peaceful unification of the North and South Korea. Your commitment, your division, thanks to your division, I am sure that this will definitely come true. Thank you so much. Today, we see around the world a lot of difficulties taking place. And on Earth, there are about 200 or so countries worldwide. And yet, and yet, their hopes Though they, everyone hopes, everyone has sought and looked for a world of peace. But despite their hopes for a world of peace, we see more and more war and conflicts. This has been our the history of hum, our human history until now. Originally, the owner and creator of this world, our God, God created the heavens and the earth, and, and he created a man and a woman, Adam and Eve, as the first ancestors of humanity. And then, Man, the first man and woman had to go through a process of growth. He waited for them to grow to maturity. However, unfortunately, they could not grow to maturity. And this resulted in a world that has been disattached, disconnected from God. However, God, who is the Almighty and the Omnipotent, has the same beginning and the same end. He's, and He must fulfill His will at all costs. So, in order to do that, it is essential for victorious human beings that uh, model beings to emerge, beings who that God has hoped for and looked for and wished to see, to be able to realize that kingdom of heaven on earth. Heaven, for the past 6,000 years, has been working hard to find his lost children. He has been such a parent looking for his lost children. And so to do so, to enable to find his lost children, he allowed religions to emerge based on the different cultural backgrounds, geographic backgrounds of each region in order to enable man to pursue goodness within their respective areas and places. And it was amid such circumstances that God chose what he, we call the chosen people. He chose a people, a nation, and to be able to restore the mistake of the first human ancestor, to conduct a providence, he, he could not but conduct, God had to conduct a providence of restoration through indemnity to bring, to, to restore what was lost. So we cannot describe the, that excruciating like patience that God had to exercise to wait until the fruition of His will. For 4,000 years, he worked, God worked really, really hard 
to send His only Son, Jesus, the Son whom He could call His Son. But according to the principles of creation, it doesn't work only with God's Son. So, so in the, not not only this doesn't work. So he need that God need a family, and the people of Israel needed to support this God, the God's son. They had to create an environment upon which God's Son needed to work on. But that did not happen. And as a result, Jesus had to die on the cross and promise that He would return. And that He would return and conduct the marriage supper of the Lamb. But after that, Christianity Thanks through the apostles, Jesus' apostle, Christianity now unfolded, for, has unfolded for the past 2,000 years, beginning from that point. But when we look at today's and Christian environment or foundation, does it have a foundation that can receive the Messiah if he is to return? This is a question I would like to ask you. So, when we look at humanity that has been disconnected to God, do we really, have they created, have we created that, so that environment, the beginning of that environment is the birth of the model parent, all the true parents, and through that true parents, will now people, and it's essential that all people be reborn through them so that they can become God's children, as God's children, to be reborn as God's children. So to un disentangle the wrongly tangled, of history. So, after 6,000 years of history, these true parents could be born on the Korean Peninsula. In 1960, the true parents emerged. And then, the true parents have been conducting the providence of free birth. And that is what we call the blessing uh, festival and the true family movement in order to make that happen. So fallen humanity, no matter who, need to meet the true parents and must become God's children. So God's dream, our Creator's dream, was to be able to embrace all His children through the true parents. And He has dreamt of the kingdom of heaven on earth. And that work began in 1960. One more time, the owner of this universe, our Creator God, is our Heavenly Parent. So many countries, there are a lot of global powers, there are many countries around the world, but 
Only when they attend and live with God, when God is present within them, can those countries be qualified in front of God. So there's no... Heaven so in creating this beautiful world God can so that God can say you have really done your best this country is really a country that I will directly govern so God it should so country should be able to stand in such places in front of God should be able to be praised by God in this way so one more time the religions around the world are reaching their destination. So at that destination, people have to calm down. And then once they calm down, we need, they need to now leave, be able to create an environment where they can live with God as their heavenly parent, become completely one with Him. That is the only way. And so, the same th when we look at the Korean people, it's history. Korea shares one culture. One lineage, one tradition. So this Korean, why did it have to be divided between the North and the South? It is the only country that has been divided since the Cold War times, uh, since the, 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 the Korean War. So only when these two countries unite, when these North and South Korea unite, can there be peace and stability as well in Northeast Asia and the world. Do you, do you understand, everyone? So we who live in this age today need to be able to become children who attend and live with their heavenly parent, who are connected to God directly. I have said this. This people, all people around the world, only when they can stand in a position where they live with God as their parent, attending them as their parent, can there be a world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness. When we're all one family, one big human family under God, can, can only then, when, when we tend God as a parent, can we become one big human family. So from that perspective, as the true parent that God has sent, I am, t I am asking all the people of North Korea and South Korea, Will you, together with me, will you work with me? Will, uh, so that North and South Korea, which are brothers to one another, so that these two brotherly nations can become like one peninsula so that and as sons and daughters of God let me, 
so that I am sure that a world of peace, like one big family, can really be achieved within our generation, within, uh, within this time. So, so, through centered on God, when all nations become connected as family, until now, though, due to man's ignorance, this beautiful earth has been destroyed, and it is getting more serious in time. As a result of climate change, we see sea levels rising, and in particular, we see all these natural disasters like rampaging different places across the world. Even last year alone, in North America, there were a lot of mountain fires, tornadoes, flooding. How like it caused so much damage, it caused so much losses. What about China? Let's look into China. What about Asia? Let's look in Asia. When we look at all the continents around the world, the all continents actually suffered in indescribable damage and loss of people because of all these natural disasters. And for the past two or so years, the corona, the corona pandemic has taken, took away a lot of lives. And so in the future, we do not know what we will be facing, what challenges will that will like hit us in the future. So this is the kind of reality where we stand on. So so as a result, this is all happening because of our mistrust, because of our uh, Disbelief. So, as so now, as children of God who live and attend God as parents, as such children, let us all realize the dream of our parents on earth. As children who who know the dream of our heaven, can we stand still and do nothing about our parents' dream? I hope that everyone and the world can become really one so that we can really bring this earth to its original beautiful sta uh, state. And so let us all become people who fulfill their responsibility. So I'm calling to all people living with me in this age, let us all become such people. Today, many people from around the world have come here and given really good messages today. Every one of you, your, I, I really pray that all your hopes be realized, and I am completely confident that they will come true. Yes, it can happen. All our hopes can happen. But the issue here is that we need to attend God as our heaven plan. We need to be qualified as children who, of God. I in the f as people who have to take the responsibility to f to preserve the future to to ensure future for our future generations 
we we need to become one, therefore, in order to create this world into a kingdom of heaven where we can all live together as one family with God. What kind of, if we could have realized what kind of world would that have been? Our God, the Creator, created everything, the heavens and the earth, and then He created the ancestors of human beings and asked them to have dominion over all things. So in an unfallen world, according to the principles of creation, so though the rules of creation does continue, this is however being destroyed by human beings actually. Whenever spring comes, I look at the daffodil that blooms first amid from the frozen lands. So as a result of the fall of man, human people have lived in so much pain, in so much suffering, and when so when I think of how God, when God, how God, at the heart of God, looking at His children living in so much pain and so much suffering, when I think of that heart, that I, I you know, I, I always think of how I can comfort His heart. So when I look at the daffodil, you know, I try. I read that heart, you know, that I can feel, I can sense. So even though right now God cannot completely exercise his power, but like I'm talking daffodil, but even though it, it comes out of the very first, the, it's the very first flower that comes out of the frozen lands to announce the coming of the spring. So when I look at that daffodil, what I feel As I wonder if, in terms of me achieving the responsibilities given to me as the true parents, I have, you know, received a lot of oppression, persecutions for the past 60 years, you know, in carrying out these responsibilities, but I have never, never stopped. And so, today, and because of that, I was able to meet all of you, everyone. Thank you so much. So all together, let us all, through meeting the true parents, let us all really become true children of our Heavenly Parent, and all together, let us realize God's dream on earth. Let us become such devoted sons and daughters, everyone. Thank you. So, let us all give a big warm round of applause to Dr. Hak Jahan Moon for her wonderful speech and hope for the peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula. So she emphasized the need, the importance of really of living together with God as a parent. And she has given us, and we could really sense her sincerity to advance. And that as long as we advance for the unification of the North and South, unification of North South Korea, it will happen. Again, let us give a big warm round of applause to Dr. Hak Chahan. Everyone, please take your seats. And this time, as we